Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel for a Friday Night Pour. I am Brian. Thanks for joining me. Uh, tonight, I am going to take another crack at my PVC pipe straight pour technique. Um, I did one a couple of weeks ago, and the pipe was a little long. I think my paints were a little too thin, and um, it layered some colors, probably not the best way, so I ended up with a little bit of mud, so I had to repour it. So tonight, I've changed up the color palette. I am going to see if I can get this one to work because, again, I've shortened up the tube. Um, I'm using mix pour this time, so my paints are a little bit thicker. So that should help me uh, keep the uh, muddiness from happening. Also, I'm going to use maybe a little thicker layers of paint versus small layers. So, All right, let's get down the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size and the colors. I will be right back. <laughs> Okay, so what I've got here is an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. It's taped and push pinned on the back. Folks, do yourself a favor. Check your canvases if you're buying them from whatever store you're buying them from. I get mine from Michael's. I buy them in the Pro Pack, so I get six, you know, six canvases in a Pro Pack. Um, but these Artist Loft canvases are getting worse and worse. So make sure you flip your canvas over and you put it flat on your table, and if you can push on the corners and it doesn't wobble, you got a good canvas. If it wobbles back and forth, that means your canvas is not uh, level and it's warped. And what will happen is when you paint and your paint dries, depending on which side is higher, no matter how level you think you have your canvas with your push pins or whatever you prop your canvas up on, when it dries, it's gonna pull away from the edge and you're gonna end up with cracking. Um, I've had two of them do that to me. It stinks, it sucks, especially after you make something that you just really, really love, and boom, you end up with a mess. All right, let's talk about these colors. So these colors I'm using today are Deco Art 24 karat gold, uh, Liquitex and the Quinacridone blue violet. This is a beautiful color. Amsterdam and the pearl blue. I'm using this as my quote unquote white. So it's gonna be very interesting to see what that makes. First time I'm ever using Golden's Payne's Gray. I always use creative inspirations in the Payne's Gray, but today I'm using Golden's for the first time. Uh, Pebio Studio Acrylics in the blue green. Beautiful. Amsterdam in the phthalo blue. And all my paints are making a mound on top of a mound and sinking themselves right back in. And another color I'm using for the first time, and I'm kind of a little scared, but I'm going to do it. It's the pearl pink tulip from Arteza. Like a very salmon color. All my paints are mixed with Mix Pour. You can get your Mix Pour from Krista Rasmussen at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Um, my paints are mixed seven parts of Mix Pour to about one and a half parts of the paints. And I did not thin down this any at all with water because the Mix Pour is a little thinner than normal. I'm going to use a nice deep purple color as my flow extender. Um, it's almost like a dioxazine purple. This is just a color I got from table scraps. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing today, my PVC pour pipe, I've cut it down to make it shorter. It was like 12 inches long, so now it's about five and a half, six inches long. I'm going to pour into the PVC cup. The paint's gonna come out. And then we're going to stretch just like a regular uh, straight pour. All right, let's start layering the cup. All right, let's get started here. So for an 18 by 24 canvas, I'm going to need about 15 ounces of paint. This is a 16 ounce beaker cup, so that's going to be plenty enough. Um, let's start off with just a little bit of gold, not a lot. And... 
go in with this Anacrodome Blue Violet. Um, I'm not gonna layer too much of this blue. Let's do a little bit like this. I don't really wanna put a whole lot of white next to the Quinacridone Violet because I don't want it to make pink. Um, let's go in with the Prussian. And then the blue green. Some gold. Phthalo blue. And that pearl, pearl pink tulip. All right, let's come back in. Again. Purple. Y'all see what I just did? I've been layering on the wrong side of the cup. Oh my goodness. Well, now we're gonna find out, folks, what happens when you layer from one side of the cup but you pour out from another. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I need to pour from the spout and just pour it from the wrong direction. All right, so give me a little guide of what I'm pouring into with the PVC pipe. I am gonna pour into a little puddle of gold. I'm gonna thin it out with a little bit of water. Thinning out the gold like this will help the paint glide along the canvas as well as possibly give me some gold cells right in the center. Kind of. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so here's the cup. Dummy me, I was pouring my paints in from this angle and I've got to use the spout to pour out of. So this is going to be interesting how this comes out of the cup. All right, what I'm gonna do is pour down. As you can see also, I painted my edge, uh, trying to get a little bit of coverage on the edges with uh, of my flow extender. So let's pour some gold right here in the center. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my pipe here, I'm gonna let the paint come out in the center of the gold. Let's go.
this is a pretty color palette. Wow. I think what I will do though, is I will try to get a little bit more color in the center since I have a little bit of this paint left. Getting a lot of cells coming up. There's the gold cells. That's gonna really stretch out a lot. Got some great fingerlings it looks like here in the center. Everything's looking well. So we are gonna pour out our flow extender here. Let's go right around the edge. Gosh, this flow extender is such a beautiful color. Probably could have just used it in, an, in, in a painting. I don't waste any of my paints. I always scrape the table to make sure I've got lots of flow extender, which I've got tons of right now. All right, let's torch this for some air bubbles. There's lots of them in here. All right, I don't think it got it on camera, but there's an air bubble right here and I popped it and now you see bare canvas. So that's the importance of popping your air bubbles before you start. You trap this paint with air bubbles and then once it pops, you, got, you start to see bare canvas. The gold cells are really starting to pop up here. All right, let's go ahead and start moving this around, open it up a little bit. I like to tilt the canvas around a little bit before anchoring over a side, opens it up a little bit, allows me to see the comp uh, composition, what I'm kind of liking, what I'm not liking, where I want to go off first.
come back to the center over here. I don't know guys, I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna keep some negative space on here. I'm really digging these colors with this purple. This is pretty. This is gorgeous. The cells, the huge fingerlings, everything opened up well. You got some really deep lines. I'm loving my corners. Just beautiful, just beautiful. All right, I'm gonna need to clean up the edges a little bit. Decided to leave negative space. I need to make sure it's covered. I 
I know keeping negative space, that will probably make Nate Bright happy and Dominic Cheryl, because they always rag me about not leaving negative space or everybody comments, are you leaving negative space? Are you leaving negative space? Well, I guess I am. Let's see if we can get that to pull off just a little bit. Yes. Really came out great. All right, I'm gonna to torch, clean up the edges, and bring you guys in. All right, I'll bring you guys down. All right, here we go with the wet result. Love it. I'm loving it so much. These colors were perfect together. Really great. All right, I'll let you see it dry, be right back. All right, here is the dried result. Came out great. I love the color tone to this. And I'm so happy that I made the adjustments with the PVC pipe. It just came out great. I'll start you up here in the top left. This Prussian blue dries so dark. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Man, did this really come out great. It dried perfectly. Let's see if I can get you guys in there. Loving the colors. It is dark, so I am definitely gonna put some Liquitex gloss varnish on this puppy. That's gonna bring those colors back to life. So happy, so happy. All right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.